Yo, yo, everybody, we are back here again today for another exciting video back here in Telltale Games, The Walking Dead, Season 1 here, and today we are going to go on a little bit of an adventure to find our boy Glenn, who's kind of gotten lost out there. Let's give her this battery first, I guess. Great, thanks. And now I think it's time to tell her that we're ready to go. Um... Boom. You got it. You? I am prepped. Let's go. So we're going to head out and see if we can maybe save Glenn here. I'm hoping that we can, uh, obviously. He seems to be a pretty valuable part of this group. So I guess we shall see. Oh, Lord. Okay. So you got a couple, at least one zombie here. Are we looking at more than one? Okay, we're looking at two, three... Three, f four, five, maybe? A couple up top there. That looks like Glenn right there. It's gotta be Glenn, right? Yeah, okay. Good stuff. At least she's not dead. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trap up there. No way. We gotta go now. Well, what? What does he expect us to do about that, though? down for it so we know there's two up there so we're gonna have to keep that in mind there's a guy over here by the axe that's a good weapon there there's a guy here by the car so we're looking at four so far make it five okay So let's peek up over the wall. Okay, we don't want to peek for too long because we know that we'll be seen if we attempt that. So we can go that way towards the RV, but I'm thinking the best way to go is probably this way, right? Okay. So we're all safe here. There's a screwdriver there. We probably don't want to break the with our hands though, right? Okay, so both of those get us to the window. Okay. Hmm. I mean, we, we don't want to break that with our hands, like not even in the slightest. Is that the good? Is that the right idea? Um. I guess you maybe want to go this way? Trying to let this one see us here? Worked out well for us. Oh my god, get me back in. Okay, well this is seemingly messed up for us right now. I haven't really seen anything anywhere for us to grab, really, like... Hmm. Well, that has me a little bit confused. Is this one... Is he dead, this one? I... I can't tell if that, if that guy's dead or not. Because, I mean, we know we have to get to that. That's my big question of the day. Is he dead? I really don't know what I'm expected to do here. I guess our goal is just to break this? 
Well, I know there's something in the pickup, but we don't want to make that much noise by punching this thing, do we? Ow. Hey, man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Okay, that's what I thought. Like, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be able to punch that out. So we're clearly missing something somewhere. Okay. Take this pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not breathing my half and mine. Okay, I think I know the plan now. I think I get it. We're gonna use this pillow as a silencer. I believe this has been I believe that's possible. I mean I don't know if it's actually possible in real life, but I feel like in game logic it's possible. We know we want to get to this car for sure. We can take out two for sure going this way. No, I don't want to get up in there. Stop. Go away. I keep forgetting. Which way's which? Okay. So we can smother the you can pillow smother this one. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Nice suppressor. Be quiet, Glenn. You can hear the girl crying in there. I'm hoping we'll be able to help her, but I don't know for sure. Let's open the door first. Just to see if there's anything in here that's a spark plug ooh, 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 ooh. i've seen some movies i've seen some movies i know what's up with that unlock the gear shift yeah yeah you know i know exactly what it's going to be used for can we can we go back It's, it's, it's like a super, super, like, movie-esque trick. You, you take the little piece of the spark plug and you throw it at the window and it breaks the window, right? Heck yeah. Let me see the spark plug. Glenn knows what's up. Okay, okay. I mean, she's crying too loud for them to care about anything else. We're good. All right, now we've got this. Mm. Okay, let's, uh, let's go over here, perhaps. Now, who exactly do you want to take out with this one, though? There's this walker here that we may be able to take out. Nice. Okay. Now I think we can take out this guy with this with a screwdriver as well. Whistle for him to come on over. Wait for him to get a little closer. Now. Okay, that was almost bad. Okay, and we still have ourselves our screwdriver. Now we put the gear the gear shift in, so we should be able to just, we should just be able to push this bad boy right into this guy, right? Sure. Nice. Not a bad play there. Good stuff. Lee's a genius. And, uh, screwdriver this fool. Ew. Oh, there goes the screwdriver. Alright, let's take this thing. I guess it's time to head up. Sounds like a plan. I ain't afraid of no ghost. 
Unafraid no walkers. Unafraid no buddy. The closer I get, the more afraid I am, but... I'm just vibing out here. You can take out one probably before it even knows what's happening, right? Okay. Ooh. Decapitated, my guy. Let's go. And luckily enough, we have the axe to break this door open here, too. Take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. She's in trouble. Miss, we're coming in. All right, let's use the axe to get on in there. Sorry, I was just taking a drink of my water there. Thought that cutscene would have been a little longer. No point in trying to break it open with our hands. So you know, we know we've got the axe. Might as well use it. Let's get this door open. It's locked. Stop, just stop. Here we go. All right. Hey, Scoochie. You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Ah, she's bit. What? I told you. I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Boyfriend? No. I don't want them. It's not good. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Um. Okay. Okay. Try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. We had a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? I can just... You know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. It's a tough choice, but... Give it to her. That's what she wants, then. You can't be serious. Do it. No. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. I agree, I agree with Lee on this one. There's no reason if she wants this, then this is it's what's best, I guess. It sucks and it's brutal, but this is what she wants. I know how terrible this must be. You can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? She needs the gun back. Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. You can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me, a little bit of a sneeze there. Is my idea we'll stay and pick up the gun. God bless you. All right. God bless you too. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Deep, dark, and de depressing. Let's, uh. Poor Glenn. Thought he was getting a girlfriend and. That's how that turned out for him. Not very good. Oh man, the Travelier Motel. Everyone, all right? Yeah. We're back. We had some close calls, but Glenn is fine. And, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas. If you can save up in the trunk of my car. Perfect. Good to hear it. And things back here. Quiet. Our friends are still running out over here. We won't survive any more strikes. The next order of business is getting those pills out of. Yeah. Oh, we have the axe now. Bet your bottom dollar we can break the lock with that. That's the plan right there. Perfect. Let's go, Doug. Smart. Yes, I do. I've got a plan. We're going to get these keys. Let's go. Come on. I got a plan already. We pick up the brick. Okay, well, 
Do I have to open the door a little bit? It's kind of convoluted if you ask me. Okay, nice and wide open, ready for the zombies to get in. That's fun, proud of you Lee, you're a genius. Now, what are the odds we could, yes, some good old vandalism. Throw that brick Lee. Should have been in the MLB. Boom. Beautiful. That should be enough static to lure them away. We can get to our bro and get these keys and get on out of here. ASAP. Preferably. Yep. Go. Go. Go while you still can, Lee. You're a fool. Run. Sprint. You're going pretty slow for somebody that's on a time constraint, Lee. Not gonna keep your feet moving. God. We're good. They're still distracted for now. That is his brother, huh? Younger brother, I would assume. Be quiet, you... Do you see how many zombies are over there? Look at his legs, man. Absolutely crippled. Alright. Sorry, Lee. Oh, that didn't kill him, it did it. No, he's not dead from that. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's not he doesn't die from that. Gotta hit him it's gotta be the brain, my guy. You can't just keep decapitating him and thinking that's what that Really? Again? Took you long enough. Jeez. No, it's not easy to hit a moving target like that, but yeesh. I need the keys. Got another achievement unlocked down there. Hey, bud. There we go. Let's go. Hurry up. Holy crap. Run. Uh oh. Little Timmy Nochin just turned around and is ready to take us out. Go. Skirt, skirt. Stuff Lee. Great, now we have no lock though, so they're just gonna waltz right through, right? We gotta be quick about this. We gotta be quick about this. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, yeah. Time for time for talks a little later. We gotta go. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, every walker in like miles is about to hear that. Every single walker in the city is going to hear that. There's, we're following one. Oh no, dude. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, there's so many. We gotta go. Go help them. We don't make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. 
Um, it's kind of... Oh god, oh god. Oh no. Oh no. This is not good. Come on. Come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. You got this. You got this, boy. You got this, boy. You got this, boy. You got this, boy. Nice. The cane. Grab the cane. Grab the cane. Stick it in the door. Stick it in the door. Don't be a fool. Let's go. Hop, two, three, four. Boom. Oh, crap. Wait, what? We both have to make a choice right here? Oh god. Okay, so we can save Doug or we can save Carly. Carly, Carly, Carly. She's got ammo. She's more likely to be able to save Doug as well. Beautiful. Hurry up, Lee. Run. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You little screwdriver looking fool. Go, go, Lee, go. Clem, you run. 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 What? I saved your ass. Are you a fool? Ooh. Yeah, take his hand. Kenny, you're my man. You're my boy. Go, go. Go, go. Go, Lee, close the friggin' door. You've got me messed up. You have got me messed up. Gotta kick Larry's face in. We saved him. We 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 had the whole reason he got his pills back. Literally the whole reason. And he pulls that. Man, he punched us good, though. He cracked us with one shot, and that was it. It's getting rough for everybody. Simple as that. So obviously, if you haven't caught on already, this Glen is the same Glen from... Well, not the same Glen. Well, I guess it kind of is, but... This Glen is based off the same Glen from, from the comic book universe, I believe. So, that's why he's off to Atlanta. He's going to meet Mr. Rick Grimes there. Although he doesn't know that yet. It's not us to make him stay. He wouldn't stay, whatever, no matter what we said anyway. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. I doubt that, so but... You guys be safe. Appreciate it anyway, Glenn. I mean, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Keep the girl from upstairs. That was a little different, though. She was bit. You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Be 
Peace out, Glenn. Uh, let's talk to little Kenny, I guess. Kenny and Katja. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah. I agree. Hey, how about Clementine? Yeah. Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself. You two are gonna be just fine. Thanks. Stand up guy. You got it. Appreciate you, Ken. Can I talk to Katja too, or was it just a chat with Kenny there? Just a chat with Kenny by the looks of it. Let's go talk to Carly over here. I think I see Clem there as well. We'll go talk to her and duck. I'm okay. You know, considering. Can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. It's yes. tough, right? Like we just met, and he was such a. It's just that I think that I like him. That's what she was trying to tell him before things went bad. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone. I think. I understand. Peace out, Carl. Oh, maybe not. What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. We both knew. I was going to help you both. That's well as it's kind of my plan. First. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? I would have liked that too, but... I guess there wouldn't have been much point behind the choice if they had to both made it. All right, Carly time. Not Carly time. Clementine time. Screw you, buddy. Mr. Crimson Chin over there. She looks a little sad. Aww. Oh, those are all really rude options except for that one. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being sad about that. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a sec. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. What do you want? You like my daughter? <laughs> Her dad tried to kill me. Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. Oh, woohoo. I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, I don't think he really understands the circumstances of of what happened with that murder there, to be honest. I'm pretty sure that the only reason we got convicted of murder is because we killed a senator that was sleeping with our wife. So just blind rage, anger, did some dumb things, and obviously set in stone we got convicted. But I think in general, he's a good guy, you know, other than prior offenses. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn dependable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We can stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, nice. We got water, and most importantly, we got life. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Just as I say that, the lights go out. And that is the end of episode one. Got a little bit of to be continued. 
and a little preview for the next episode of season one. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. I never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine start feeling weak. You don't know me. Mm. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. Beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry as much as the bandits. Bandits? Ooh. Not really sure what any of that was about, but none of it sounded very good. All right, so here's our here's our options. So out of so the first big option was lying to Herschel. Um, Sixty three percent of players were honest with him about how we were just some guy. We weren't we weren't her father or neighbor or anything like that. No reason to lie. Um, it was actually pretty even on who would um, who would you save over Duck or Sean. Um, I chose Duck just because, I mean, he is a kid. Um, I guess I went kind of robotic thinking there and kind of just said, you know what? I mean, he is a kid. He's got more life to live. Boom. Save him. He also seemed much easier to save. You know, he wasn't trapped under a tractor with two zombies about to fall on top of him. So he just seemed like the easier one to save, which is kind of why I went with that option. Um, you and 48% of players defended Kenny. That's actually weird. I figured a lot of people would go with Kenny. Um... Only 45% of players gave Irene the gun, which is interesting. And 76% of players chose Carly. It was just the better option. She had the gun, which means, in theory, if things had have gone right, the odds of her being able to save herself and then also maybe save Doug were pretty high. As to where Doug, he, he's not good with walkers. He's he, he was smart. He was a good tech guy. But in the end of the world, how much are you going to need an AV guy over a girl that has, you know a sharpshooter really so those were kind of my th that's kind of my thought process my choices there i think they were good well thought out choices especially some of them you can't really think that hard about because you don't have that much time but i think in general we we, we did pretty good there and that was this chapter of the walking dead so guys i really do hope you guys enjoyed this very first episode um Obviously, there's five episodes in this season, and that was just episode one. And there's four seasons of the game, so we still got a long way to go. We still got a long grind. Hope you guys are excited. Hope you guys are enjoying it and uh, ready to see more. Again, The Walking Dead is just one of my favorite franchises, and when I was thinking of different games to play while kind of waiting for, you know, more AAA games like Valhalla to come out or Cyberpunk and all those kind of things, the new Spider-Man game, things like that, the first game I thought of playing was this. It's just such a good story game. For someone like me that loves the series, it was the perfect choice for something to play on the channel. But I also hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, please leave your feedback, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know how you feel with the choices that I made. If you played the game either recently or a long time ago, if you remember, what were your choices? How did they differ from mine? And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. And as always, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.